Hey guys, uh, so I figured I'd make like a little story time video. Uh, um, there's a few of you that subscribe to my channel that that know I used to race cars and uh, I used to race at a uh, track in uh, Westfield, Massachusetts. It was called Whip City Speedway. Um, uh, the track unfortunately closed down, you know, several years ago, but um, I used to really enjoy racing. Uh, I raced go-karts, I raced modified lights, uh, four-cylinder strictly stocks. Um, had a lot of a lot of fun doing it. Um, got quite a few uh, you know wins there over the years and um, uh, two track championships. A uh, uh, lot of fun. Um, I didn't have real deep pockets. Uh, I had some sponsors, but. But, you know, most of the time that, that just covered, a, like, the cost of the gas to get to where I was going. And, um, you know, I would cover the cost of the, uh, you know, tires for the car and whatnot. There's my little buddy Levi. Who are you talking to? <laughs> I'm doing a video. Oh. Um, so, anyhow, um, I figured I'd show you some of these uh, pictures of my old race car. Um, so, hope you enjoy it. So uh, this here was my uh, modified light. Um, uh, it was actually a, um, uh, it was called a dwarf car. I ran it in the modified light division. Uh, my number was number 74. Um, I had Whip City Speedway up at the top. Driver. Uh, diversified uh, racing graphics. They uh, sponsored me by making me all my stickers for my cars. Um. The CML construction uh, used to give me a place to keep, you know, the cars, and you know it would help me work on it. And uh, the uh, Dunn's funeral home was, uh, you know, just kind of a uh, a joke that you know me and the owner of that particular funeral home uh, had. But he uh, he also gave me some money to pay for the tires for the car, and uh, um, you know, so it was really nice of him to do that, and. Uh, uh, this was in love and memory of a friend of mine, Corey Domnansky. He uh, unfortunately passed away in an ATV accident. And uh, so uh, anyhow, that was uh, my Mod Light. Um, I'm sorry, my Dwarf car. This was one of the go-kart racing pitchers. Um, this is one of my favorite pitchers. Uh, that's me leading a, a pack of, I don't know, eight or ten guys. Um, I beat this guy. He was number 46. Uh, his name was Jim. Um, I beat him for the track championship that year by two points and uh he never ended up racing after that because uh i think he was a little upset over it but um uh, anyhow you know we him and i had a lot of fun racing together it was a shame he didn't continue racing but um you know anyhow that was uh that's one of my favorite pictures of all time um this here is another go-kart that i had um I had a different side panel on it and a uh, different motor on it. Um, this was a picture of one of my four-cylinder Strictly stocks um, that I used to race. Um, I was actually selling it when this picture was taken. Uh, that's me and a buddy of mine, Dave. I found that picture and I started laughing. So um, This is a uh, another picture of my... Dwarf car with a different body. Um, the black uh, body I had made, uh, this white one I had uh, gotten with no stickers, and I had painted it and then um, you know put my stickers on it. Um, this picture's unfortunately got damaged, but that that's a really cool picture too because um, my tire's up off the ground right there a little bit, and and I was like I always liked that picture too. Um, this is probably one of my favorite pictures of all time. Um, uh, this was my mother. Her name was Merge. Uh, it was the one and only race that she ever managed to come to, um, of mine. Uh, my mom, uh, passed away at a young age and she, uh, um, was always nervous of me racing. And I actually had talked her into coming to watch this race. And, um, this was a week after I won my first race ever. This was my second win, and uh, the guy in the black right here, um, his name was Jerry. Um, he was uh, another fellow racer. He raced in another division with me, and um, he uh, um, used to wrench on the car with me all the time. Um, he was a big reason why I won the championship that first year. I, I won Rookie of the Year 
and the track championship my first year racing at go-kart um because i had blown up two motors and he actually gave me the motor off of his car so that i could uh sorry about the beeping so that i could um make sure i ran in the feature so i didn't lose the championship that week so uh this guy up top here that was my buddy russ uh uh one of my best friends um you know he was actually my plumbing instructor in high school um and that's his son uh kevin you know kevin was real young now kevin's in his you know middle 20s i think now um so uh all right i'm gonna kind of flip through the rest of them and uh let you guys check them out hope you enjoy it that picture right there was my first ever win uh in the go-karts unfortunately nobody was uh at that race that particular weekend so that's why none of my uh you know friends or family were in that picture with me um this was my second win uh like i said my mom and my buddy russ and if you look at their shirt they actually had a the picture of my first win on it um um the date was june 22nd um uh, i don't remember the date june 22nd 2002 so uh that's pretty neat uh, this was a, a book that I, I was in um, that they used to sell at the racetrack like a little flyer. That's me right there. This was my third win. Uh, my buddy Jerry uh, wrenching on the car with me. Got in the photo. My fourth win. Jerry in the photo. And you can see his race car right there. Peeking under the checkered flag. Um, that there was, uh, that guy Jim I told you I used to race with. That was my fifth win. Okay. Uh, this was my sixth win here. Um, this guy here was, uh, was a real nice guy. His name was Scott. Um, or, I'm sorry, his name was Steve. Um, Steve and I used to, uh, get a kick out of it. Whenever I won in the heavies, he would always win in the lights. And uh, we took a lot of pride in that. We used to laugh at that. Um, Steve, unfortunately, passed away of, uh, I believe, cancer uh, several years ago. But um, that was uh, somebody I always really enjoyed racing with. Um, this gentleman here, Ryan, uh, was another guy I uh, used to race with in the dwarf car division. He was really good in the dwarf car division. Um, I think I got a picture of his car um, in the book later. Um, that's a... Uh, one of my favorite pictures too because i had tapped that guy and and kicked him sideways going for the lead and i looked over to make sure i didn't spin him um this was uh my first win of the very next season um, um this was um another win i don't remember what season that was to be honest with you That was a picture of me and my buddy Jerry again with my old S10 in the background. This was another victory in the go-karts. Um, this was uh, that guy Jim, myself, Jerry, and uh, that gentleman's name is Mike. Um, Mike is, is kind of who I say got me into uh, the racing the go-karts because uh, when I met Mike, we were racing at a... Uh, just a regular go-kart track every week and he introduced me to the sport and you know gave me a place to to store my race cars and and help me get them and um you know so i owe a lot of my success to that gentleman right there mike he uh real nice guy uh, i haven't seen him in quite a few years but hope he's doing well um that was uh what the modified lights looked like uh, you can see it had a different body style on it uh that was a friend of mine natalie racing that's another picture of me um, racing a guy in number 84. I don't remember what his name was. Um, that was uh, my buddy Mike racing. Um, this was uh, getting ready to uh, start again. I think it was after a red flag. Somebody had like flipped or something. That was another one. Uh, you can see my helmet was fogging up. Um, I was leading. Um, this lady was uh, was gaining on me, but I ended up uh, beating her uh, for the win that particular day. That was another uh, another picture. 
Um, this is a cool picture of my buddy Jerry. Um, that was before he had gotten side panels. I think that was right after he bought that car. Um, that was one of his first races. Well, that's me. That's Jim, and I'm behind Jim in that one. Um, this is one of my one of my favorite pictures too. Um, um, we both uh, won the championship that particular weekend. Uh, he won it in the lights, and I won it in the heavy division. So uh, we got a nice photo together, which was really cool. Um, I think that's a duplicate of another photo I had. Another one of me. Um, this one here is another one. Now, this is the picture that they used for my Rookie of the Year uh, um, award. It was a big big version of this picture. It's huge. And um, it says Rookie of the Year with City Speedway 2002. There's another cool picture. I like this one too. I was I was uh, <laughs> I had a heck of a nice lead on him there. And that's another one of me and Jerry. That's my old dog Baron. Some more photos. This was uh. This was that guy Jerry, uh, I'm sorry, that guy Jim uh, uh, in one of the races he had won. This was Jim again uh, for another race he won. Um, that, that year he raced, man, him and I had a neck-to-neck -neck battle. We had some fun. This was another guy, Paul, that uh, you know, was a real strong competitor, real, real fast every week. That was one of his victory pitchers. Um, that's another guy, Scott, that used to race with us. Uh, he was another awesome competitor. Um, he was actually running his brother's car that particular week. Um, and he ended up winning. Um, that's another cool picture. I'm back here in the, the black helmet. Um, that was one of the first races we did because I didn't have that body on the car, the black and green body on the car very long. Um, so that was probably one of the first, like, three or four races that we had ever done. This is at a different track. Um, that's my buddy Jerry. And I'm in the red suit right there. Uh, that was in Shelton, Connecticut, if I remember correctly. Um, that guy Ryan that was in that other picture, that's his old, uh, modified light, number 41. He, uh... He was always really good in that division. Uh, I think he eventually won a championship in that division, too. Um, that was a, a victory lane pitcher for one of Jerry's wins. And this was a um, another pitcher at that Shelton Speedway. I'm right here in the red. And um, this guy back here is my buddy Jerry. Uh, that was a couple laps before I ended up flipping in that same spot. I hit those plastic barrels and flipped up on my side and spun around and rolled it. This was uh, a um, sprint car that our buddy Mark used to race. And this was the um, the book they used to sell there for $2 with City Speedway. I have quite a few of those that um, I had kept. Uh, that was one of the annual awards banquets. Um, this here was a friend of mine, Megan. Um that used to race with us. She was she was an awesome driver too. Uh, I used to have a lot of respect. Um, I still have a lot of respect for Megan. Uh, but um, she used to impress me. She used to race the sprint car as well, and uh, she she was always really good, uh, really good competitor. This is another picture of Megan right here in the blue, and that's me up on the top. That was uh, my buddy Mark. Uh, one of the wins he got in um, the sprint car. I was uh I used to help him out once in a while so I'm in that picture. That's another picture. This one here is cool. You can see that my buddy Jerry and that's my buddy Rob looking at each other. That's uh I think that's the same as uh, one of the other ones you just saw. This was another one of us. Uh I don't remember if that was a 1200 sprint car or if it was his 750 um 
I think this one was his 1200, and I think that top one was his 750 sprint. That was our championship uh, awards banquet. Uh, Jim, the guy that finished second, never ended up showing up to that either, which you know was disappointing. I uh, I wish he would have uh, shown up for it. Another victory pitcher. Another go kart pitcher. So the rest of these, I think, are a lot of duplicates. Um, I like that one. I'm going knucking futs, <laughs> and that was uh, that's a sticker. It's upside down there, but it's it used to be Nicholas Motorsports was the name of my team. That was another cool picture. That's another cool picture. All right. Well, I hope you uh, the uh, the video. Um, it was just something I figured I'd uh, share with you guys. I found that I haven't seen this book in a couple years, and. I happened to find it today, so I said, ah, I'll do a little story time. All right, guys, hit that like and subscribe button. We got 108 subscribers now. Getting uh, The new goal is 200. Um, uh, check out my uh, giveaway uh, video. I posted that a little while ago. So uh, anyhow, guys, appreciate you all watching, and uh, you all take care of yourselves, and God bless.